Hello friends, welcome to my lab. In this video, I will show you the experiment regulation and efficiency of single phase transformer by direct loading method. If you love my video, please like it and don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. Let's switch on. So you can see this is the setup of our experiment. Before performing the experiment, let's understand the circuit and connect it virtually. So you can see this is the circuit diagram of the test and we have to connect it virtually. So let's start. First of all, a 240 volt 50 hertz supply is connected with a single phase variac and we have to set the variac in 230 volt position. Next, the terminal of the variac is connected with an ammeter. The ammeter is connected with M terminal of the watt meter and the L terminal is connected with the high voltage side of the transformer end and the another end of the high voltage side is directly connected with the neutral. Now the C terminal of the pressure coil is connected with M and V terminal is connected with neutral of the supply. And we have to connect the voltmeter across the transformer primary side or high voltage side. Now we have to connect an ammeter with the secondary side of the low voltage side of the transformer. Now the another terminal of the ammeter is connected with M terminal of the watt meter and L is connected with the load that is variable resistive load and the another terminal of the load is connected with neutral terminal of the transformer secondary and the V terminal of the watt meter is connected with neutral. Thus our circuit is ready to perform the experiment. I have already connected the equipments as per the circuit diagram. The ammeter and voltmeter connected with the primary side of the transformer is used to measure the current and voltage drawn by the transformer and the watt meter connected with the primary side is used to measure the power intake from the supply during the load is on and as usually the ammeter and voltmeter and watt meter is connected with the secondary side of the transformer to measure the current voltage and output power taken by the load and you can see this is the single phase variac and this is the ammeter used for measuring the current in the primary side of the transformer I will use this 0 to 5 ampere range for measuring the input current. This is the input voltmeter or primary side voltmeter. It can measure 0 to 300 volt. And this is the digital wattmeter. It can measure the wattage of the primary side of the transformer. And you can see there are four terminals M, C, and L, V. Now you can see this is the transformer of 230 volt by 115 volt cell type transformer. This is the ammeter for measuring the load current. It can measure 0 to 10 ampere. And this is the resistive load. Actually, this is a rheostat. I have fixed the jockey to the maximum position of the load to get the maximum load. And this is the digital multimeter. It is connected as voltmeter and it is used for measuring the voltage. And this is a analog wattmeter for measuring the power of the load. It is connected in the secondary side of the transformer. and you can see the plates are connected in parallel to get the maximum current that is V1 and E2 and B2 and E1 is connected. From this chart, we can get the multiplying factor of the wattmeter that is 10 ampere and 150 volt. I have connected the secondary side of the wattmeter that is 150 volt. So the multiplying factor from the chart is 2. Now let's understand the connection. You can see the variac primary side is connected with the 240 volt 50 hertz supply main output terminal from the variac is connected with ammeter from ammeter a cable is connected with the m terminal of the watt meter mc sorted and l terminal is connected with the load that is the transformer primary side the another terminal of the transformer primary is connected with the neutral terminal of the variac now you can see the two terminals is connected across the voltmeter. The voltage is measured by this voltmeter. You can see the negative terminal of the voltmeter is connected with the V terminal of the wattmeter. Now, the secondary terminal of the transformer is connected with one terminal of the ammeter. The another terminal of the ammeter is connected with the M terminal of the wattmeter. You can see the M terminal. The M and C terminal is sorted by this cable and the L terminal is connected with the load end that means the rheostat and from the rheostat we have connected 
the negative terminal or neutral terminal of the transformer and V terminal that is 150 volt terminal of the watt meter is connected with neutral of the transformer and the voltmeter is connected across the load. So you can see this is all our connections I have done for this experiment and as you can see this is a digital watt meter so I have to give this uh, auxiliary power for this I have connected two terminals across the variac for 230 volt input supply and this is the main for this watt meter. Now let's switch on the supply and you can see the indicator is glowing that means the variac is on. For finding the regulation of the transformer first of all we have to remove the variable resistive load and we have to measure the output voltage of the secondary terminal of the transformer for getting the regulation of the transformer and for this reason we will open the transformer secondary side like this and by keeping these terminals open we will slowly increase the variax supply voltage by watching this voltmeter and you can see the pointer is moving that means the voltage is increasing gradually we will set the voltage to 230 volt as per the rated primary supply and you can see the voltage is exactly at 230 volt and at this situation the secondary no load voltage is 127.2 volt that means more than 115 volt we get this voltage is obtained at 230 volt primary side voltage and the ammeter reading of the primary side that means no load primary current is 0.1 ampere and the watt meter reading of the primary side is 41 watt only at this condition the transformer is not connected with this load so the transformer is at open circuit condition the voltage across the load is zero and watt meter reading that means the power intake by the load is zero and the secondary load current is also zero and now you can see this is the observation table at no load condition now keeping the variac at its position we have to switch off the supply now keeping the variac to its own position that is 230 volt position we have to connect the load with the transformer secondary side now let's switch on the supply and you can see the primary side voltmeter primary side watt meter secondary side ammeter the primary side ammeter the secondary side watt meter the secondary side load and voltmeter all meters are deflected and you can see the primary side voltage is about 212 volt the primary side load current is about 4.2 ampere the primary wattage that means the primary input power is taken 902 watt the secondary load voltage is 112.1 volt the secondary load current is about 7.4 ampere and the watt meter reading is 410 watt and the multiplying factor was 2 that means the output wattage is 820 watt and you can see the rheostat is heating so we have to take care for this and getting this reading we have to fill up the observation table like this and from this the input power and output power we can calculate the efficiency of the transformer we know that the efficiency of a machine is the ratio of output power to the input power in this case the efficiency of the transformer is 90.9 percent we have calculated in this case the loss is only 82 watt there are only two loss the iron loss and copper loss there are no frictional loss or windage loss so the efficiency of a transformer is very much high that is above 90 percent now from this data we have to calculate the voltage regulation of the transformer the voltage regulation of the transformer is the percentage change in the output voltage from no load to full load there may be two types of voltage regulation one is voltage regulation up and another is voltage regulation down if the differential voltage is divided by load voltage that is called the voltage regulation up if the differential voltage is divided by no load voltage then the voltage regulation is called the regulation down 
we have calculated the up regulation of the transformer is 13.47 percent and down regulation is 11.87 percent so this was the outcome of our experiment this direct loading method is very much expensive and inefficient because the electrical energy is lost as heat in the rheostat so this method is not used in case of large size transformer to get the theory part of the experiment and what to write in your lab copy is given in the link you can find the link in description to get more videos like this please follow us on youtube facebook twitter and telegram channel till then stay tuned with us jai hind jai bharat